Since its founding in September of 1947, the United States Air Force has grown to over 320,000 active duty personnel with over 5,000 aircraft. The mission of the Air Force is to fly, fight, and win air power anytime, anywhere, and it is considered to be the most powerful air force in the world. Service members serving in the U.S. Air Force are referred to as airmen. Their ranks are similar to those of the Army and Marine Corps, but there are some differences unique to the Air Force which can be confusing. For example, a staff sergeant in the Air Force holds the pay grade E5, but a staff sergeant in the Army and Marine Corps is an E6. Dive in with us as we cover the ranks of the United States Air Force and how to recognize them. The Air Force separates its ranks into two categories, enlisted and officers. There are currently no warrant officers in the Air Force. However, in February 2024, the Air Force Chief of Staff announced plans to bring back warrant officers within their ranks. The Air Force uses the same E-1 to E-9 pay grade structure for enlisted airmen as the other branches. The lowest rank is an Airman Basic and is the rank that most airmen start out as when attending boot camp. An Airman Basic does not have an insignia and has the pay grade of E-1. Air Force personnel typically receive automatic promotions to the rank of airmen with the pay grade E-2. They wear a uniform insignia consisting of a star insignia with one stripe. E-3s hold rank of Airman First Class. They can be identified by their star insignia with two stripes. As Airmen progress through the Air Force, they may be promoted to E-4, which is the rank of Senior Airman. Their insignia consists of star insignia with three stripes. The Airmen E-1 through E-4 are junior enlisted service members. Promotions through E-4 are automatic as of July 2024. E-1 to E-2 will occur at six months' time in service, with E-2 to E-3 promotions occurring after serving 10 months' time in grade, and E-3 to E-4 occurring after 18 to 24 months' time in grade. Promotions to E-5 and above are dependent on work ethic, performance, and test results. However, this promotion structure is not the case for all. Although E-1 is the standard entry pay grade of enlisted airmen attending boot camp, they can enter at or promote to a higher pay grade and rank faster based on education and life experience. Airmen can also earn meritorious advancement for superior performance at the discretion of their commanding officers. An E-5 in the Air Force holds the rank of Staff Sergeant and wears a star insignia with four stripes. E-6s hold the rank of Technical Sergeant and their rank insignia consists of a star insignia with five stripes. Sergeants are considered non-commissioned officers or NCOs. This means that they are military officers who do not hold a commission and instead have earned their leadership role by promoting through the enlisted ranks. E-5 is the lowest ranking non-commissioned officer in the Air Force. E-7s through E-9s are considered senior NCOs. They are the most senior enlisted personnel and hold leadership positions and provide mentorship to junior enlisted as well as junior officers. Getting selected for promotion to E-7 earns airmen the title of either Master Sergeant or First Sergeant. A Master Sergeant wears an inverted chevron above star insignia with five stripes. A First Sergeant will have an inverted chevron over a diamond over a star insignia with five stripes. An E-8 can be a Senior Master Sergeant or First Sergeant. They can be distinguished by having two inverted chevrons over a star insignia with five stripes. First Sergeants will have the addition of the diamond above the star insignia. An E-9 can be either a Chief Master Sergeant or First Sergeant. Their insignia is three inverted chevrons over a star insignia with five stripes. Again, First Sergeants will see the addition of the diamond in their insignia. In the Air Force, First Sergeant is a special duty temporary rank for positional billets. Although not a permanent rank, those who hold the rank of First Sergeant are considered to be senior to their counterparts with the same pay grade. E-9s can also be designated Command Chief Master Sergeants. They will wear three inverted chevrons over a star, over a star insignia with five stripes. Command Chief Master Sergeants serve as senior enlisted advisors and advise commanders on all enlisted matters. Officers hold the pay grade of 01 to 010 and make up the most senior leadership ranks of the military. 
Currently, Air Force officer ranks mirror those of their counterparts in the Army and Marine Corps. The most junior-ranking officer in the Air Force are second lieutenants. They wear a single gold bar. O1s or second lieutenants will automatically be promoted to O2, first lieutenant, at the two-year anniversary of their commissioning. First lieutenants wear one silver bar. Promotion from O2 to O3 is also automatic, occurring four years after commissioning. O3s in the Air Force are called captains, and they wear two silver bars. Lieutenants and captains are considered to be company-grade officers, the most junior among the officer ranks. Officers must be elected for promotions to O4 and above. An O4 in the Air Force is a major. Majors are distinguished by wearing a gold oak leaf. O5s in the Air Force hold the rank of Lieutenant Colonel, and their rank insignia is a silver oak leaf. Colonels have the pay grade of O6. They can be seen sporting a silver eagle. Majors, Lieutenant Colonels, and Colonels are senior officers, and they are considered to be field-grade officers. They hold some of the highest positions of authority, like commanding officers of bases, commanding squadrons, and leading Air Force Deltas. The highest-ranking officers in the Air Force are flag officers, 07 through 010. An 07 is a brigadier general. They wear one silver five-pointed star. 08s in the Air Force are major generals, and they wear two silver five-pointed stars. Lieutenant generals have the pay grade 09. Their rank insignia is three silver five-pointed stars. The highest-ranking officer in the Air Force is an 010 general. Generals are distinguished by wearing four silver five-pointed stars. Becoming a general requires decades of experience, and those eligible must be approved by the Senate. That's all we have for today. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and be sure to check out our videos on the ranks of the other military branches. Until next time.